Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to receive an SMS text notification each time someone fills out and submits a form on your site. Getting a text message really helps to speed up replies and keep you on top of any important prospective leads. Before we begin, you'll need to have both a Zapier and a Twilio account, as well as a Twilio phone number to complete this tutorial. You can find links to both services in the video description below. Without further ado, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account. And once the license key has been verified, we'll want to head over to the add ons page and activate the Zapier add on. The Zapier add on allows you to connect your forms to any of the over 2,000 apps available through their service including Twilio. Once the add-on has been activated, we'll be ready to head into the form builder. Click on the Add New tab on the left to go into the form builder. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick out one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. You can also create a form entirely from scratch if you want. It's all up to you. For this tutorial, Let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. Once the template is loaded into the form builder, you can customize it however you want. You can either add in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearrange the order of the existing fields, or delete them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. We'll leave our form as it is for now, click on the Save button on the top right corner, and then click on the Preview button to submit a test entry. The reason why I'm doing this is because you'll want to make sure you have at least one entry before you make your connection to Twilio with Zapier. This entry will be used to make sure that the connection is working properly before you go live. Now that the entry has been submitted, we'll then head over to WP Forms, Settings, to find our Zapier API key. You can find this key under the Integrations tab, and be sure to keep this window open as we'll need this key in a few moments. Once we've located the API key, we can open up a new tab to go to Zapier, log into your account, and we can begin the connection process. Click on the button labeled Make a Zap, and we'll be taken to the Setup page. Within this first section, we'll first choose our app and event. In the search box, type WP Forms and click on it once it appears. After you've selected WP Forms, Zapier will then display your trigger options under Trigger Event. WP Forms has only one trigger option so we'll choose the new form entry option. Zapier then asks us to choose our account. When you click on the Sign In to WP Forms button, an overlay will appear. This is where we'll need our API key found in the Integrations tab of the Settings page in WP Forms on our site. We'll quickly tab over, copy the key, and paste it into the API key field in the Zapier overlay. Next, you'll need to fill out the website field, and be sure to enter the full URL of your site. When you're done, click on Yes Continue, and your WP Forms account will now be connected to Zapier. Choose your newly connected account, click Continue, and you'll be taken to the next step. You're going to select the specific form you'd like to use for this app. In our case, it'll be the simple contact form we created earlier. The next step will allow you to pull data from the form you created to test your connection. This is why we needed to submit at least one entry to our simple contact form before beginning this process. Click Test Trigger, and when the test is done, you should see the form entry data that you previously submitted. Afterwards, click Continue, and we'll move on to the second section. This is where we'll find and select the app we'd like to connect our forms to. In this case, we're going to look for and select Twilio. In the next step, select Send SMS as the action and click Continue. You'll then need to connect Twilio to Zapier. 
Start by clicking Sign into Twilio to sign into your account. Another overlay pop up will appear, and Zapier will request for access to your Twilio account. You'll need to enter your account SID and the authorization token. Click on the link provided, which will take you to your Twilio account settings page. You should see the section called Live Credentials, where you'll be able to copy your account SID and paste it into the Zapier pop up. Go back to your Twilio account and click on the eye icon to reveal your authorization token. Copy it, paste it into the Zapier pop-up, and click Yes Continue. Afterwards, click on the blue Continue button. In the next section, you'll need to specify three things. The From number, which is your Twilio phone number that you can choose from the drop-down menu. The To number, which is where you want the text messages to go. This field would be your own mobile number and the message field. Here, you can specify all the form fields that you'd like to include in the text message and customize them any way you want. When you're done, click Continue. In this next section, we're going to see a preview of all of the fields we just mapped out, and we can either test and review the connection or test and continue. Click Test and Continue. If the test was successful, you should have just received a text message with the test entry data. You can then turn on your Zap, and you're all set. You now know how to get an SMS text notification from your contact form. Be sure to test your form to make sure that everything is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.